kind of a small knife. Liner lock, single thumb stud, martini, Chinese martini. From what I find out, very inexpensive knife, highly polished blade. Doesn't say what the blade steel is. You'd think if it was martini, it would be some kind of uh, Scandinavian steel. But on these Chinese blades, I believe this is just 420 stainless. Nice and polished though. Very light. This is all aluminum. Liner lock, it hits the mark, but I mean, it's not like it comes over, you know, 50% of the lock up, that's for sure. It's got a half stop. How many times do you see a liner lock with a half stop? Very unique. The thumb stud is very small. Kind of built for little small hands. I mean, I put my finger in this little groove and look how much my hand is over it. So, you know, I don't believe big Scandinavians have hands that small, but I guarantee Chinamen do. So there you go. Martini, don't know what it was. I've heard of Martini Pelicans and I've seen some other ones. I already took out one of the screws here. I'm gonna be disassembling this. Still no markings. Just says Martini since 1905. I like the polish on this. I'm like a barracuda. I like shiny things. Aluminum. Sides. And then over here, I separated all the screws, the posts, and it's got Teflon washers. Sticking with my plan, Barracuda Lure. That's what the na that's what the name of this knife's gonna be. They love shiny things. All right, here's one side. <clears throat> All that's left of that powder-coated gray paint. If you remember in the beginning, I don't even know what to call that. That's what I think I call it. I don't know what to call it. I think that's, that's its name, but I hope you can see that this is quite shiny and it's almost ready to be, there was the original color. And some of that color and that pattern is now showing through. And this is a whole different ball game going on here. So, it ought to look okay with that highly polished blade. Time to put it back together. About did all I'm going to do with this thing. Well, I know this was short and sweet, the way everybody likes them. But here is the finished product of a martini folding knife. It doesn't say where it's made. I did a little investigation. And it's sort of a china knife. If you remember what it looked like, it was just gray powder coated. 
two slabs of aluminum, gray powder coated, highly polished blade, highly polished blade, which is nice. The only thing it says is Martini since 1928. I believe that's an eight. Martini, very well respected knife company. And it looks like they're dabbling in the Chinese folders. Scandy ground. I had to sharpen it. It was pretty dull. I don't know if this was a used knife or a new knife. But I did this just random pattern. I clear coated it afterwards with clear coat. I do it all the way around everywhere. Um, then I went to the other side and I screwed it up royally. So I had to come up with a fix and a fix was is doing this if you look hard I mean it's hard probably to see but this is very stipply and now this knife has actually got some grip okay it was very smooth before I was gonna go in here and do some serious jimping and I was thinking about doing that on the blade also but I don't think I'm going to because this is sort of a little gentleman's folder, I guess you could say. It's got, which is very unique. I've never seen this on a, on a liner lock, a half stop. So it was a little on the boring side. And now I turned it into what I call barracuda bait. Shiny. So there you go. Just a little project. Oh, I clear coated this side too with polyurethane. I guess it's polyurethane. And a uh, very simple knife. Got steel liner over here. The lockup on it isn't super great. I should have bent this over a little bit more. But. You know, it's enough to hold it. It's got two Teflon washers inside. I don't believe it's going to be some flipper hand toy. But it's a little gentleman's knife. And I am going to send this back to its rightful owner. Just so we can have it. The person who donated it to my channel. I think that's going to be the end of me playing around with this because I don't have a whole lot of alternatives. <laughs> but there you go. I don't know if I had it in frame or not. All right. So thanks for watching. Well, if you remember, I showed this one in just a video ago. This is the uh, Ontario or the SE. Uh, Avispa much smoother than this one and uh, I did this to it I called that the broken glass because it's just random pattern even did the, the pocket clip and this had a checkery you know real I guess you could say uh, stipply pattern and I did that just I just broke it up also and you can see my method to the madness here I mean this knife is seems smaller the Avispa just has just that much more handle Vispa, you can tell, is made for an American hand. Okay. And you can choke up. And I put this really super aggressive cut jimping on the blade. This is a real worker here. 
this is more of a little, you know, a little bit of a grandpa's knife. So I kept this one relatively smooth, but now it has texture with what I did to the aluminum. So as you can see, I have sort of a affinity for just aluminum, number one, and metal, number two, and shiny things, as you can see. Well, this might be the, as much as I do any knife customizations. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more, but I had my inspiration by another channel just playing around. Just playing around. So thanks for watching.